Welcome back to Jersey Matters. We told you about the hiring crisis at the Jersey Shore. And of course, in Atlantic City, casinos are being hit hard. Jersey Matters' Phil Andrews went to AC to find out firsthand what's going on. Phil. The Atlantic City boardwalk was certainly a bit quiet on this particular day, but the Memorial Day weekend is just around the corner, which of course will draw thousands of visitors. Unfortunately, businesses and casinos may have an issue catering to those crowds as they currently struggle to fill thousands of job vacancies. Yeah, last I heard there are close to 2,000 openings in, in across the casinos. Uh, and there potentially could be more as capacity start expanding because so you're still limited to uh, meeting room space capacities, entertainment space capacities, and as they expand, you'll be able to bring more people back. Uh, but right now, they're looking for at least you know 2,000 people to fill a variety of different positions. It's been incredibly challenging. For them. There are great job openings right now in Atlantic City. And this is something that a lot of people don't know. More people come to Atlantic City every year than to the Magic Kingdom, which allegedly is the happiest place on earth. Most people don't know that. Harry Hurley is not only a talk show host at WPG Radio here in Atlantic County, but also spent nine years working in the casino industry, so knows a little bit about what casinos are looking for. If you're a four diamond, four star hotel, there's a certain level of service that you want to provide. You have to have the staffing at all levels, front services, the bell, door, the um, front desk, your guest services, your PBX operators, and of course, all the restaurant staff. Now, the casino's inability to draw in potential employees is not for lack of trying, because most of them do host job fairs. But for a multitude of reasons, people would rather stay home and for some, well, that may come back to bite them in September. In order to uh, qualify for unemployment for seasonal employees, you must work 20 weeks in order to qualify for that seasonal unemployment. Like we said, that expires on September 7th. So they have to go back to work, or if, as a seasonal employee, they won't qualify for unemployment after that September 7th date. That's a realistic slippery slope that could put people on welfare that we certainly do not want to see. But at some point, if you're able-bodied, you have to go back to work because that's what this country is all about. If you're able-bodied and you're working, then you're growing. If you're just sitting around and direct deposit is happening and you're, you're able to work and you don't, that's not good for the individual. So it's good for society to get back to work. The benefits have been great. The, the government did the absolute right thing. We didn't know the extent of this pandemic and what it would mean, but we now do. We now have therapeutics. We have the vaccines. I think that the, we, we say we're going by the science, Phil, then we need to go by the science. And so casino owners are gambling that the employment numbers change just enough to get them ready for the start of the super busy summer season. In Atlantic City for Jersey Matters, I'm Phil Andrews. So I'm a local and I chose Spring Lake because it's one of the most picturesque seashore towns in the world. It's really charming. It's got that just small time, small town shopping flair. It's a great little community, very supportive of each other. There's so much to offer here, and we've had several stores that are now opening. But originally it was a very Irish town, still is, uh, but it's nice to see it's more of a melting pot now, and we get a lot of commuters actually uh, to the city that uh, we're noticing uh, over the last few years. But, you know, they come, I think, just because they hear it's a nice town, but once they get here, they realize, you know, how beautiful it is. The fact that the ocean is two blocks away and the stunning lake all within, you know, a block of each other. You know, of course, you have uh, St. Catherine's uh, uh, Cathedral there. It's just wonderful, wonderful to visit. It's just a wonderful place to be, and you feel very safe. You know, we have it all. We're very, very fortunate, very fortunate.